Mr. Allen, based on these statistics, I, I, I would like to talk to you um, about some, some other things um, that are going on here in Washington, D.C., specifically an initiative that you led. In November of 2022, you led the charge to reform D.C.'s crime laws. Is that correct? I chaired the committee that that proposal came to. You led us. this charge, yes, sir. And uh, these charges, these changes, are now law here in D.C., correct? Do you mean the revised criminal code? Yes. Uh, no, those are not the law. Those are not the law. Did, with you, the, you the revised, revised you, you criminal code them. was uh, rejected by... Excuse me, Mr. Chairman, I'll talk to Mr. Allen. Yes, Mr. Allen, did you or did you not decriminalize public urination in no, Washington, D.C.? Did you lead the charge to do so? No, it, the revised criminal code left that as a criminal charge. Did you lead the charge to decriminalize public urination in Washington, D.C.? No, ma'am. Did the you ever vote in favor of decriminalizing public urination in Washington, D.C.? The revised criminal code that was did passed you by the ever council support kept it as a criminal offense. Did you, did, and you support this? Criminal... I voted for it, yeah. You voted to keep it as a criminal offense. That's correct. The full council did. We have records that show that you were in favor of removing that criminal offense and allowing public urination. No. The Is that something that you intend to pursue in the future? No. The legislation that you're referring to that came from the Criminal Code Reform Commission changed public urination from a criminal to a civil offense. The council then changed that to maintain it as a criminal offense at the request of the mayor. Thank you. I yield.